ஹலோ ஸ்டூடெண்ட் வெல்கம் ஃபார் அ வீடியோ லெக்சர் ஆன் அ ஃபைனட் ஸ்டேட் மஷின் த ஃபைனட் ஸ்டேட் மஷின் இஸ் அ சிம்பிளஸ்ட் அண்ட் மோஸ்ட் எஃபிஷியன்ட் கம்ப்யூட்டேஷ்னல் டிவைஸ் த நேம் இட் செல்ஃப் இண்டிகேட் இட் இஸ் அ ஸ்டேட் மஷின் வேர் அ மஷின் வில் மூவ் ஃப்ரம் ஒன் ஸ்டேட் டு அனதர் ஸ்டேட் ஆஃப்டர் சீயிங் சம் இன்புட் வேர் த நம்பர் ஆஃப் ஸ்டேட்ஸ் ஆர் ஃபைனட் ஹியர் ஸோ ஃபைனட் ஸ்டேட் மஷின் is a machine which is made up of a states and these states are finite in number let's move to the formal definition of a finite state machine a finite state machine fsm is a computational device whose input is a string and whose output is a one of two values that we can call accept and reject so the input for this finite state machine is a string and what output is produced by this machine it produces two output either accept or a reject so it has it will produce a two values as a output accept whether the string is accepted or a string is rejected if m is a machine if machine is a finite state machine the input string is fed to m one character at a time left to right so we are going to feed the string as a input to this machine which will be in the form of one character at a time and it will read the string from left to right single character at a time each time it receives a character then machine consider its current state and the new character that is read and based on that it will choose the next state one or more machine states may be marked as a accepting state so among the machine states one or more states are the accepting state if m runs out of the input means it has read all the input and if it reach the accepting state then it display the output that is string is accepted if m runs out of input means it still it has to read some input and it is not in a accepting state then it uh, produce a result rejects so what is a finite state machine finite state machine is a machine which takes string as the input it will read the string left to right single character at a time then each time when it receives the character the machine consider its current state and the character read the present character read based on that it will choose the next state if machine finished the reading of the input string and if it read if it is in a accepting state then it produce the output that string is accepted if machine reads all the input and if it is not in a accepting state then it produce the output as a digits so the number of steps that machine executes on a input w is exactly equal to the size of the string w so m always halts and either accepts or rejects so here the machine always halts it will always stop either by producing the accept or a rejects as output this machine has one drawback that it has a very limited memory so in that memory it will store the character c so based on that it will change the state finite state machines are also called as finite automata so sometime it is called as a finite state machine or sometime finite automata both are same here finite state machines are broadly uh, broadly classified into two classes one is the finite state machine with output and the second category is finite state machine without output the example for a finite state machine with output r more and mele machine i think you had studied these two in a uh, ada subject next category is finite state machine without output where you are going to study three machines one is a deterministic deterministic finite state machine another is a non deterministic finite state machine and third one is epsilon and ds so these three machines are the example for finite state machine without output 
next move to the first class of the finite state machine that is deterministic deterministic the name itself indicate the path is determined or after accepting a sum input where i should start that is determined so it is called as deterministic finite everything is determined what will be the future that is already predicted okay or determined that's why the name given is deterministic finite state machine in deterministic finite state machine there is always exactly one move that can be made at each step so here you are going to make uh, only one move in each step that move is determined by current state and the next input characters so you are going to change the state based on the current state and the input character red so exactly you are going to make a one move at a time example for a deterministic finite state machine are a vending machine the vending machine controller will receive the sequence of input each of which correspond to the one of the following events so you had seen the vending juice vending machine okay so what you are going to do you are going to uh, deposit a coin into the machine so initially the machine is in off state first you are going to start it so it change the state from off to on after that you are going to deposit the coin so if the deposited coin is valid it will check for that if it is valid then after pressing the drink button the drink is dispensed so this we can use a symbol s for soda for this event 